All right, let's get started. Welcome to the webinar, Armor Sea Film, Outdoor Storage Rust Prevention That Cost Stop. So I am Kristen Moore. I am a project manager here at Armor Protective Packaging, and it's my voice and sometimes myself that you're going to see pop in and out throughout the webinar today. And my co-host today is one of our eradicators of rust, Steve Young. He's going to be the one who is manning that question and answer box. So again, anytime you have a question for us, feel free just to type it right into that box. And then not to outdo Steve Young, but my third co-host today, or my second co-host right behind me here is my family fish, and that's Gil. So Gil will be on the webinar with us as well. So for some of you who've been on an Armor webinar before, or you're very familiar with Armor, you know this. But for others, you might need a little reintroduction or introduction to Armor. So at Armor, why we manufacture rust prevention and rust removal products, we know that our purpose is to protect your brand, your customer's brand, your parts, your customer's parts, and most importantly, your reputation. Well, and how we do it? With VCI technology. That's the first bullet point on your screen, which is vapor corrosion inhibiting nanotechnology. And you'll hear me call it VCI, you might hear me call it rust prevention, and you might hear me call it vapor corrosion inhibiting nanotechnology today. We also make that rust remover that I mentioned, Metal Rescue, and that's for sale in over 9,000 retail locations. So Home Depot and AutoZone and Canadian Tire. But the bullet point that I think you might find most interesting is the second one from the bottom of the screen. Over 90% of Fortune 500 industries, where they rely on armor. So here's how we're going to break the webinar down today. We're going to talk about how is outdoor storage different than indoor storage. We're going to talk about why regular VCI products are ineffective for outdoor use. And we're going to talk about different rust prevention options for outdoor storage and shipping. But before we get too far into that, what we are going to talk about first, and if you've been on an Armor webinar before, you've seen this, is just a teensy little bit of corrosion basics. So for order for rust to happen, you need these three things. You need metal, you need air, and you need moisture. And with that, you have multiple forms of corrosion. And we're not gonna get too technical today, but I wanna give you just enough information about these forms of corrosion that you can feel comfortable diagnosing rust if you see rust on your parts or your customer's parts. So on the left-hand side of your screen, you see that brown rust. Brown rust comes from atmospheric rust. When you see brown rust, I want you to think about contamination on the metal. So usually fingerprints or parts washers as solutions gone bad. Now look to the right, there's black rust. If you see black rust on your metal part, I want you to think, ooh, there was either maybe some wet paper or maybe wet film that does not have VCI in it laying against that metal part. Because that metal, while it was exposed to air, it was exposed to a low amount of oxygen, and that's what makes black rust. The third one is yellow rust. If you see yellowish orange rust on your metal, I want you to think, oh, there was a high amount of moisture present. So usually, for yellow rust, there's water present or parts that were washed but not fully dried before they're packaged. And then the last is if you see red rust, well, that's the most common type of rust that's out there. That's the type of rust that you see on a part that's laying in the field, that's the type of part where you see on metal that's just laying outside, and that metal is exposed to a high amount of oxygen and a high amount of water. And that's as deep as we are gonna go today on that technical side of type of rust. If you want some more technical information or you're having a specific rust issue, at any point, just type that in that question box we practice and Steve will connect you with your technical sales manager. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit about, well, well then, how do you prevent rust? And there are multiple ways to prevent rust. But the one that we're talking about right now is VCI packaging. So for some of you, you're very familiar, you've been on an Armor webinar before, you have seen these slides, you know what VCI is. But for others, here's your refresher on, well, what is VCI? So if you look at the left-hand side of your screen, for VCI to work, you need what we call a carrier. 
Now, if you look at the middle of your screen, there's that VCI, the Vapor Corrosion Inhibiting Nanotechnology. And you coat that carrier, or sometimes people use the term, you impregnate that carrier with VCI, and then you have a rust preventative wrap. You can take your metal parts, you can put them right into that armor wrap, and it will prevent rust from forming on your metal. Now for this picture, for the carrier, we've switched out wrap, and we've added poly that's extruded with VCI. And the same thing happens. You take your metal part, you put it into that poly bag that's been extruded with VCI, you close it up, and it's gonna prevent rust from getting on your metal. So how does it work? I think this picture explains it really well. So those little teeny white dots you see all over your screen right now, well, those represent VCI. And they are volatile, which just is a way of saying that they want to leave the carrier that they're in, and they are attracted to the metal part. And they put a barrier around that metal that keeps out that oxygen and contaminants and moisture. And you might be asking yourself, well, then how thick is that barrier? So if you look at the left-hand side of your screen, Armor VCI is four to six nanometers thick. Look all the way at the right-hand side of your screen, a single sheet of paper is 100,000 nanometers thick. And that's how clean, safe, and easy VCI is to use. All right, so now that we've talked about rust, and we've talked about how VCI works, we can get into what you're here for today, which is outdoor storage and how we correctly utilize VCI for outdoor storage to keep your metal parts and your machinery clean and rust-free. But first, we need to know, well, what makes outdoor storage different than other types of storage? And I've broken it down for you into three different categories. The first is sunlight, the second is temperature and humidity changes, and the third is rain, snow, and wind. So the first and most obvious difference between indoor and outdoor storage is sunlight, and in specific, UV rays. So just like a sunburn on your skin, UV rays can be extremely damaging to packaging that's designed for indoor use. Not only will the UV rays deteriorate that poly and make it ineffective to protect your product, but even the pieces of the film can break off and be introduced to the environment, which can have long-term negative effects on that surrounding environment. The second that we talk about is temperature and humidity changes. So depending on your location and the season, the outside temperature and humidity well, can fluctuate drastically on a daily basis. And when a part's wrapped indoors on a humid or hot day, sometimes moisture and air trapped inside that poly can condense on the surface of the metal as the temperature drops at night, and that condensation well, pretty quickly can promote rust, especially when just a regular VCI bag is used. And then last, as we know, rust only needs water, oxygen, and having that metal surface. And while VCI will coat the metal and prevent rust, too much moisture from that rain or snow will prevent the VCI from working effectively. A regular indoor VCI bag is not meant to withstand rainwater collecting on the surface. Moisture can kind of fully enter that thin film, and especially if the sunlight breaks down the film, and that can promote rust extremely quickly. So now you know that indoor packaging isn't effective for outdoor storage, so now what? So what options do I need to store something outdoor or to ship it on an exposed flatbed? So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is Armor C-Film. Armor has designed a polyfilm specifically for solving the problems that we mentioned earlier. And that C-Film, and we're gonna talk about those three layers, has three layer construction for strength, for barrier protection, and for UV resistance. And we're also going to talk about how that VCI is on the inside of the C-film, or the closest to the metal part. So C-film, again, is three layers. The outside of the film is white, which reflects that sunlight, the first thing that we talked about that makes outdoor storage different than indoor storage. But it also contains a UV additive, which greatly extends the life of film, allowing it to stay strong 
for up to a year in element. That's the top layer, the outside layer. Now the middle layer is high density poly. Most single layer films are 100% low density poly. So the high density poly, which is the middle layer in C film, provides a much better barrier resistance to oxygen and moisture. It also makes C film much more resistant to puncture. And then that inside layer, that's the inside layer that's near your metal, that's facing your product that you're trying to protect, well, it's loaded with VCI. So using these three layers of film, Armor can concentrate that VCI to just the inside layer where it's needed the most because it's the side that's facing the metal. So for some of you who are a little more technical, I just put this slide into three different categories. so You can really get into that technical jargon of those three different layers. And if you want this slide, because you want to show it to someone on your technical team, then feel free just to type that in that question box to Steve, and he will make sure he gets you the information about the three different layers. But again, we have that outside layer. This is just a lot of fancy way of saying the low density polyethylene with a super octane for added toughness and high titanium pigment loaded with is saying that outside layer well it's tough and it's white and it can reflect the sun and it's uv resistant and that center layer i could run through everything listed on that bullet point but i just want to say that that center layer is strong it is a strong barrier to moisture and oxygen and then that inside layer well that's where all the good stuff is that's where the vci is which is that chemical that you need in your poly in order to prevent rust. So as mentioned, our Mercy film is made of three layers, one to reflect that damaging heat and sunlight, one to make that super barrier protection against moisture and contaminants, one to emit the VCI. And those three layers are what we call co-extruded. And it's just layman's terms sandwiched together into one film that allows armor to strategically position the VCI where it's needed most. But here's the great part. Thanks to co-extrusion, we can manufacture C film with 20% less material without compromising its performance. So in the end, C film is 20% lighter with 20% less waste than comparable mono-extruded films which allows for a premium VCI film at an economical price. So Armour C film does have the ability to be heat shrinkable. So when you think about heat shrinkable, think that you have the ability to bring that film tightly to your product. You can safely transport it. Um, we hear that they're safely transported a lot on the back of a flatbed truck. And again, that three layer construction allows us to manufacture that C film with 20% less material. So here's a great example for you. A few years ago, a large manufacturer came to Armour with initiatives to cut costs while maintaining and improving product quality. And I guess that's what we all want. The large machinery is wrapped in VCI poly, sea film, it's heat shrunk, and then it's shipped overseas. And then a little extra bonus on here, Armour provided training on site, we conducted site visits, and even worked with suppliers upstream to help kind of determine this solution. And Armour's recommendation of C film, as well as the on site training to streamline their practicing, produced a 20% reduction in materials for this customer, a material cost savings of 40%, and 35% reduction in additional labor. So if you see this and you think, oh, I see an application and I want to learn more about how an Armour team worked on this project. Then just type that in the box to Steve and he will connect you with your technical team and you guys can talk about your specific use of C film. So if you remember a little bit earlier, I talked about that yellowish orange rust. And sometimes that rust that we get on metal parts that are exposed to moisture. And this is an issue that I want to tackle with outdoor storage, which is sometimes you can have moisture trapped inside packaging condensing on the surface of the metal when those temperatures are changing. And depending on your problem or your rust issue, Armour can provide a solution. And two of the solutions that I wanna talk about. Right now, the first one is desiccant. So again, desiccant absorbs that extra moisture 
we use a desiccant that has that rugged Tyvek packaging. So before you wrap your part in sea film, you can always throw a desiccant pack in there. But here's another example if you want to take it up a notch. We have a new product, which is an Armor Smarty Pack, which is a combination pack of both VCI and desiccant. So again, there's both VCI coming out of that pack and desiccant that's absorbing that extra moisture. If you want to learn a little bit more about Armor's offerings of desiccant or an Armor Smarty Pack, feel free to type that in that question box to Steve, and he will send you our informational sheets on both Smarty Packs and desiccant. And then the last product that I want to share with you is Dry Coat Rust Preventative Spray. So Dry Coat is another great way to protect sensitive metals and components with inside of large packaging. It is a water-based rust preventative spray. Yes, I said that correctly. It is a water-based rust preventative spray. You spray dry coat onto your metal part. It dries to the touch within 30 minutes, and it does not leave any greasy or sticky or oily residues. You do not have to use a harsh rust preventative oil. So again, you can just like you're doing for the desiccant or the VCI Smarty Pack, before you package your metal in sea film, you can spray it with dry coat to give it that extra rust prevention barrier. And then you can wrap that part in your sea film. So there are plenty, plenty of major markets that store parts and machinery outdoors. A few examples that we have here are the agricultural and the construction industry, engine blocks that can be used as, um, with on large pickup truck beds. They're often stored outdoors before being shipped on an open flatbed truck, and even ocean liners during international shipments. We've also helped manufacturers with large HVAC units and packaging machinery, as well as export packaging companies that work with all kinds of large equipment. And here are a few examples of some of our customers and some of the customers that have used approval to use Armor products. So if you look at this screen right now and it sparks an interest with you, you see either a company or a supplier or a supplier or company like the ones that you see on the screen right now, type that in the box to Steve. He will connect you with the information about that specific industry or that specific market to talk about how you can go out and pack it, tackle some of their outdoor storage rust issues. Also at Armor, we utilize a program called Stock and Ready. So if you're not familiar with the Armor Stock and Ready program, we have three times the inventory of Armor products that are in stock and ready to ship out, which means that there are no order minimums for you. And that Stock and Ready orders that are placed by 1 p.m., well, they will ship out to you or your customers the next business day. We've made pricing incredibly easy to understand. And also, this is a slide that I can have sent out to you after the webinar. If you're interested in seeing the stock and ready pricing for C film, we have the sizes and we have the part numbers. As of right now, C film comes in a 6 mil EQ or a 10 mil EQ, and C film comes on a 20 foot by 100 foot size. So again, if you're interested in having a little bit more information about C film, the pricing or the sizing sent out to you, then just type a little note in the box to Steve, even if you just write something like part number for C film, he'll know what you're talking about. As you've heard me say throughout this webinar, I keep saying we will get you connected with your technical sales manager, or your business development, or your technical sales team. So I just wanted to give you a few faces to put with the hat name. And if you look at the right-hand side of your screen, on the very bottom, you can see Selena. She covers all of Canada. And then I also wanted to make sure that you know that Armor has partners in 25 countries around the world. And there is Fernando on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And he will get you connected with any international work that you need to do, especially for that outdoor storage. So at this point, we have quite a few minutes left. We have about five to six minutes that we can talk through some of the questions that I've seen come in today and then also answer um, some of the questions or talk about some of the common questions we've had on other uh, webinars.
So go ahead, Steve. I'm going to turn it over to you. I can see lots of questions and take it away, Steve. All right. Sounds great. Awesome job. Thank you, Kristen. Um, so there's a few specific questions. Uh, and I just wanted to let you guys know, I will follow up with you individually on, on those specific application questions. Um, but a couple uh, questions I can answer. Um, is C-film uh, heat shrinkable? Um, yes, I think Kristen might have mentioned it is heat shrinkable, um, but it does not need to be shrunk uh, to be effective and uh, protect your part. Um, another question here, who is my local rep? Um, Great question. Uh, depending on where you're located, we have outside technical reps uh, located across the U.S. Uh, and then as Kristen mentioned, we do have uh, international partners who can help globally. Um, so just get in touch with us and depending on where you are, we will make sure we get you um, uh, hooked up with the right armor rep. Um, lead times. Um, so like Kristen mentioned, we do stock the, the two sizes of C-film, the uh, 6 mil EQ and the 10 mil EQ, uh, both of them 20 foot by 100 foot sheeting. Um, and we also stock uh, dry coat and Smarty Packs. And those stocked items can be sent out in one to two days. Um, and then all custom items, we can do custom size uh, C-film and the lead time for those would be four weeks. That is it for the, the, the relevant questions. So take it away, Kristen. As Stephen mentioned, for those very specific questions that were asked, we will make sure we follow up with those on an email from myself, from Steve. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your Monday.